Yo, you know somebody that actually made good music, man? Lizzo. Lizzo? <laughs> yeah, bro. Have you heard her shit, yo? Like, as a songwriter, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like the shit emoji. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, Aerie Spears. You don't look too good yourself. But women have double standards, just like men got double standards. Women prioritize the money, confidence, provider, being a provider. And men, we, we prioritize how you look and how you act. That's just how the game is. Double standards, double standards. Double standards. Because if you take a look at this dude, bruh, Ari Spears, look at him. I mean, he ain't nothing special to look at. He, he doesn't look good. To me, he's ugly. To me. But I'm a dude. He ain't fucking me. Um, he can look like this and still pull a bad bitch. You wanna know why? He Ari Spears. He's funny. Uh, let's continue. <laughs> Can't get past the fact that she looks like the shit emoji. <laughs> Yo. Very beautiful girl. No, not very beautiful. I, I, I'm sorry. I, she don't look like the shit emoji, but she ain't beautiful. No. No. All, all that down there? No. No. All, all this right here? No. I mean, what the fuck kind of makeup is this? Listen, it's no, it's no secret. People look better when they're skinny, when they're in shape and healthy. Look at this girl, man. There's a reason why they're covering her up like this. There's a reason why it's straight headshots like this. This ain't no secret. They're covering her up. Look, there's no secret, but you can't hide the shit. I don't care how much makeup you slap on this girl. You don't look good because you're, you're huge. Listen, for all the girls that are big out there, I'm sorry to tell you, but if you are not getting what you want, you have to lose the weight, lose the weight and watch what happens. This ain't me just saying it. So attractive. Yeah, she's really pretty in the face. She's a pretty woman though, seriously. No, she... Lizzo coming out the bathroom in the morning coughing. <laughs> she's gonna rush oh, everybody God. away. Just no, see Corey, it. Corey, Corey, Corey. And they're all laughing because the shit's true. <laughs> they're co-signing it without co-signing uh -uh. it. When big me. girls cough, they run me away. Oh my God. You can't fall, it's just Corey, you big and you cough. So how about every woman Beautiful. That's true, That's but true. if you have a shape, it helps you oh in the God. get chose game. Exactly. If you have a shape, it helps you. Okay. I'm sorry. That's that's but that's the game. That, that people like skinny girls, slim, little thick. You know what I'm saying? She got a very pretty face, but she keeps showing her body off, nigga. Like, come on, man. Come on, yo. The dude in the background laughing like <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, I ain't the most in shape nigga in the world, but I still, you know, when you funny and you got swagger and confidence and, and you decent looking, I think I'm at least handsome, you get pussy. But a woman that's built like a plate of mashed potatoes is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but musically yo she go hard man she a good songwriter though oh yo she's yeah she's dope this nigga don't even know <laughs> he's like lizzo <laughs> he ain't never listened to lizzo oh she's dope hey these niggas here though her music hard her body ain't <laughs> oh man uh oh here they come the, the wall of Braveheart bitches. <laughs> like at the battle on the field, coming over the hills. Are you ready for a war? You can hear the horses 
<laughs> thumping on the fucking ground. He's about to, uh-oh, here, here he come. Who that motherfucker think he is? Be body shaming that motherfucker. Hey, yo. <laughs> it's another thing, yo. You, you know what kills me? Issue, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what kills me about women? Is, is the hypocrisy and the contradiction. Yes, queen, slay, queen. Yes, queen, slay. Yeah, girl, your confidence. Fuck diabetes. Fuck heart, heart, heart problems. Fuck heart disease, cholesterol. Y'all claim womanhood and about sisterhood and support for your sister, you know, when it come to that ridiculous shit. But if you really gave a fuck. And fuck these niggas. Yeah, he, he, he forgot one. Why wouldn't you go, black girl, we love you. We love your confidence, boo boo. But th this ain't it. This ain't it. Where's that's the real love? Because they want you to stay fat. I remember when Chloe Bailey started getting on Instagram and started uh, thirst trapping. All them bitches was hating on Chloe Bailey. Do y'all know who Chloe Bailey is? Hold on. Do y'all know who Chloe Bailey is? That is a fine sister. Fine bitch. Let me, let me show you what this bitch look like. Now that is fine. That is fine. Look at her. Slim, thick. That is all her. No fake shit. And her sister, to me, to me, her sister look even better. But Chloe is the one that sound like Beyonce. Both of them. But look at look look at Chloe. Fine bitch. Look like that, Lizzo, and shut these niggas up. Y'all will jump on me for making jokes, but y'all won't fucking be real and go, sister, put the eclair down. This ain't it. It's treadmill time. Speaking of that, right, because she does have issues with her weight, right? And it's actually a video online of her crying about being fat shamed. Did you see that video of her crying? We all do. I do. Yeah. But yeah, man, she says she, she be having an issue, man, with people fat shaming her about her weight and cracking jokes about how big she is. Then lose the fucking weight. You got all this money. All this money. Lose the fucking, you, you know what I heard? In Hollywood, they actually pay people to stay fat. Well, how you gonna have issues, but at the same time, show your whole ass at an NBA game? Mm-hmm. Don't nobody want to see that shit? You can even be ugly as fuck. How many women well, this is the, the be with a man just cause just he can financially put her on a pedestal Step where she yeah. can begin. Step well, the stool. thing is, is not I would give it 75. That's about right, probably. <laughs> and majority of them would never admit it. You know what I'm saying? So. The Jordan number would never, would never admit yeah. they that they would, D. Yeah, that, that, that they're doing it for that, for that reason. So you saying, are you saying, D, hey, white bitch, you reporting shit, <laughs> report this. D, are you saying. Oh my God. <laughs> Beyonce saw Jay, Jay Z and was like, "I got to have that." Is that what you say? I don't know their situation. Jay Z was hot. Jay Z was the hottest. Beyonce saw something in him, and she had to snatch that shit up. I believe she was young when she met him. So a lot of times, when you're younger too, you get a little sprung on somebody that. I believe that Beyonce games, like games. and okay. Jay-Z have become close for real. I do too. Oh, I yeah. believe they are yeah. a unit for real you know, now. They now. Well, I think he, he groomed her time, sure. and I think she groomed him a little bit too. I heard Jagged Edge, uh, one of the Jagged Edge members tried to get at Beyonce when she was 17. I mean, so many people have tried to get at uh, uh, what is that group called again? Destiny's Child. You don't think they try to get them bitches? Come on now. But Jay Z got her, cause you know he is Jay Z. Because he was more street. Back I then. believe that her street. success. Oh, yes. Even if you ugly, you can get a bad bitch. Listen, for dudes, it's about that paper. If you got that paper, you can get whatever the fuck you want. You feel me? 
You name it, you got it. What you want, babe? In the words of Trey songs, I got it. <laughs>